Hi, I'm Izzy and this is Dizzy Quilts and Sews. In today's video, I'm going to share everything I'm planning to take with me for my trip to Greece. All right, so my daughter Marianne and I are leaving very shortly for a 12-day trip to Greece, and we are going to do the traveling with a carry-on only. Mind you, in addition to the carry-on, my personal item is a backpack in which I'm gonna put things like my iPad, my phone, chargers, toiletries, small bottles of shampoo, conditioner, all of that good stuff. So my carry-on, all it needs to carry really are my clothes, my underwear, my bathing suit, and a couple pairs of shoes. So let's have a look at everything I'm planning to stuff into my carry-on and make sure it's all gonna fit. All right, so I don't have on the rail, on my beautiful rail here, the clothes I'll be wearing to travel. I'm going to instead pop a picture of the outfit. So it's basically my lilac French Terry Parker pants with a Stanton hoodie. And I'm going to have a white Concord under the hoodie in case I need to take it off if it gets really, really warm. So that's going to be my traveling outfit to go to Greece and to travel back. And I don't plan on wearing that at all while we're in Greece. All right, now... The, um, oh yeah, and the reason why I'm wearing that French Terry outfit is because our flight is an overnight flight and I want to be comfy cozy so that by some miracle, maybe I can get a couple hours of sleep. I don't typically sleep very well on a plane, just saying. All right, now most of our 10 days in Greece are going to be spent walking around, exploring, going on a couple of excursions and maybe a day or two at the beach. So I want lightweight, flowy, comfortable clothes. I'm not gonna take anything like jeans. And I'm also not taking anything super fancy because we're not really planning anything fancy. Like if we go out to dinner in the evening, it's not gonna be in a super fancy restaurant. It's gonna be more like, middle of the road kind of restaurants and all of my clothes here except maybe for the shorts like short shorts um i can pretty much wear anything else i want if we decide to go into a restaurant so i've decided to take six bottoms and six tops plus one topper and the topper i made or i'm taking with me is the vernon shirt by Cashmerette that I made in a beautiful chambray fabric. I've got it here. I decided, because this is really gonna be a topper, I did not make the buttonholes. I did not put buttons on there. But other than that, it is fully finished. And I absolutely love the color on me. And it's gonna go really, really well with a couple of the outfits I'm taking with me. All right, so the way I've decided to do this, and I'm gonna be popping pictures throughout, is I decided on my six tops, and then from there chose three, yeah, three bottoms I can wear that top with to make an outfit. So the first top was my Helen's Closet Gilbert top in this beautiful, beautiful fabric. So again, I'm just gonna pop pictures. Um, so this top can obviously go with the Helen's Closet um, Winslow culottes that I made specifically to go together. I can wear it with navy Luna pants and I can wear it with my navy ready to wear shorts that are in this really really comfortable like almost cotton jersey fabric it's really really nice to wear these shorts are a little bit longer so i'm not going to be self-conscious or whatever if i'm taking a tour wearing those so i think those will be perfect so those are three options i can wear with this one top by the way 
How amazing is this color palette? All navies and purples and the one little aqua pop in there. The second top is the white lago, or no, it's not a lago, it's the Curved Ham Tank by Ellie and Mac that I made in this white viscose jersey from Minerva. Absolutely love this tank, highly recommend. And this one will make a super nice outfit with my Winslow culottes, with my navy Luna pants, and, or actually with my navy ready to wear shorts. I can throw my Vernon topper for that outfit as well if I don't want too much sun exposure, which will be great. And the white tank and Vernon top also make a super nice outfit with my crazy Coco Wide Leg -like pants, which you all might remember if you've been around for a minute. When I made those crazy pants at first, I really wasn't sure I was going to keep them, but with the white tank and the Vernon topper, absolutely love that outfit. Love, love, love that outfit. So that's for my tank. The third top is my purple chorus top by Love Notion. This is the one with the cowl neck or draped neck in this beautiful, again, viscose jersey from Minerva. So the chorus top is going to go really, really well with my navy Luna pants, with my lilac cocoa pants. So you might remember these from just a few weeks ago. And I, I cut those cropped because I didn't have enough fabric for the full length and wasn't sure I loved it. Well, love them, love them. These will be so amazing to walk around in Greece. It'll be perfect. And I love the outfit with the purple top. And the purple top also looks really, really nice once again with my crazy Coco wide leg pants. So that's for the purple chorus top. Next, I have my white and blue Be Mine balloon sleeve top. I made this one very recently from my Think Pink fabric this month. I really wasn't sure I liked it. Um, a lot of you gave me suggestions to fix it. So either adding elastic at the hem or adding even a drawstring at the hem because it tends to stand away from my body. And although I did use an FBA, I think maybe I need a smidge more length in the front just to help it come down again. So the way I've styled it to go to Greece, I think works really, really well. So what this top is gonna go with is my navy Luna pants, obviously. These colors with navy are gonna be perfect. With my navy ready to wear shorts, and with my white navy to wear, na uh, ready to wear shorts. So these shorts right here. I wasn't sure about bringing white shorts because I was afraid they'd get dirty really quickly. Um, but you know, there is a way to do laundry in Greece. I am going to bring my Tide to go stick. And I'm just going to have to be careful when I decide to wear these. I'm obviously not going to wear white shorts to go to the beach where I'm going to be sitting in the sand all day. But if we go walking around, for example, and stopping in somewhere for lunch, I can definitely wear those shorts. And I do like them with my Be Mine top. All right. Next is the purple mashup top of a... Seychelles top at the top of the of the garment and the Rhapsody bottom. This was another one where I wasn't sure whether or not I liked the hem on this. But again, styling it with a bit of a front tuck with some of these bottoms really, really worked. So with this top, I'm planning on wearing, again, my lilac cocoa pants. 
I'm going to wear it with my navy ready to wear shorts for a little bit of a casual but still put together look. And I'm going to wear it with the white shorts again. I can also throw on my Vernon topper with any one of these. It looks really good with uh, pretty much all three of them, to be honest. And then last but not least, and I was not going to bring this with me, but a couple weeks ago I filmed a video, I think it was my Nancy Zeman video, and I was wearing this in it. And I was looking back at the footage and I love this top so, so much. I mean, the fabric is just gorgeous. I love the color. This was another Think Pink fabric. I really hated sewing with this double gauze. I did not enjoy it at all. I now avoid double gauze for that reason. But I really, really love this top. So I thought it would go very nicely with a couple of the bottoms I was already planning on taking with me. So with my Remy Raglan, I will wear my white ready-to-wear shorts. I'm going to wear my navy ready-to-wear shorts, as well as my navy Luna pants. So those are all of the outfits I'm going to be able to make. So I basically have six tops, six bottoms, one topper, so that's 13 pieces, but at a minimum, I'm going to be able to make 18 outfits from these garments. Probably more because there are some bottoms that can definitely go with other tops besides the ones that I've showed you. Again, we are in Greece 10 days. I've got 18 outfits, so lots of options also if my white shorts do get dirty after a couple of wears, then I have other options and I don't have to panic wondering what to wear if those just are not wearable anymore. So I'm super, super happy with what I'm taking with me. I'm super happy that there's majority in there that are me maids. So I've got my two pairs of shorts that are ready to wear, but other than that, everything I'm taking with me are all things that I've sewn for myself um, over the last, well, most of them over the last year. My Remy is older, but other than that, these are fairly recent makes, and I did do this on purpose. I really wanted my summer wardrobe and then my travel wardrobe to be something I can mix and match and make lots and lots of different outfits just from a few pieces. Now, the trick to all this is, is it all going to fit into my carry-on? So I decided I was going to try it and then show you whether or not this is going to work. So hold on. <laughs> There you go it all fit in here I have a whole other side over here where I can put shoes underwear bathing suit and like I said most of my toiletries are gonna go in a backpack that's gonna come with me on the plane as well so there you go I can do it so what do you think have you or do you typically travel in just a carry-on 
Or are you the type of traveler who brings basically their entire closet if they're going to be gone for two weeks? I would love to know. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Also, I usually roll my clothes and pack them the way I showed you. But I did get some vacuum packed or flat pack little cubes that I'm going to give a try to so I can put all of my bottoms in one, all of my tops in the other and then I have a smaller one for small things like socks, underwear, blah blah blah. So I might even put one of my bathing or my bathing suit in one of those because they're like waterproof. So if my bathing suit does get wet and it's not completely dry when I'm leaving a town to go to a next one, then yeah, it's not going to get everything else wet in my suitcase. And that's another reason why we like to travel in carry-ons. We don't typically spend two weeks in one city. So this trip to Greece, we're going to be going to four different places. And I really don't want to have to take a huge suitcase around with me. Some of these transfers are going to be done by ferry. We're going to have to get on buses. It's just so much easier when you have a small little carry-on that you can wheel around and a backpack you just wear on your body. So there you go. So those are, yeah, so that's basically how I get ready for two weeks in Europe. We did the exact same thing last year when we went to the UK. And let me tell you, I brought way more with me to uh, last year and it's all still fit into my carry-on. So definitely doable. All right, thank you so much for watching today. Please give the video a like on your way out if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel. Oh, and subscribe because when I get back from Greece, I plan on doing a little debrief during my first Friday Sews video uh, just to let you know if this actually worked because in theory, it's going to work, but in practice, will it work? So subscribe so you find out. Thanks again, and I will see you soon.